Hey, what's going on people, Backfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can fix your FPS drops and get better performance in all new Genshin Impact V4.4 dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out, so make sure to watch this video till the end. Do leave your specs down in the comments below and without wasting up any more time, let's get started. Alright, the first step is the best window settings and for that you have to open up settings on your PC and then over here you have to go down to gaming, then open game bar and make sure to turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and it also runs a lot of processes which you do not really need. You can simply turn this thing off and improve your PC's performance. Then go back to gaming, go over to game mode and make sure to turn this thing on. I highly recommend you guys to turn on game mode since it helps you to turn things off in the background, allowing you to get better performance in your games. Right beneath that, you'll also find graphic settings. Simply open it up, click on change default graphic settings and enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games. Both of them will help you to reduce your input latency and utilize your GPU for gaming. Now you have to go down to Windows Updates and over here make sure to check for updates on your PC. If there are any updates possible, I highly recommend you guys to do it because Windows keep fixing on the bug issues which might be causing your FPS drops. Step number 2 is disabling your Windows animations. Windows by default has a ton of animations and you can simply turn them off to increase your game's performance. You can simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows on your PC and then click on adjust for best performance. Right over here, you have to click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts. Both of them will preserve your windows look and increase your FPS significantly. Once it's done, simply close it. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. There are multiple payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is disabling memory compression. Memory compression is a feature that dynamically reduces the size of data before writing it to RAM that increases your performance. But this runs a lot of processes in the background and it is not really really beneficial whenever you're playing the games. So I highly recommend you guys to disable that and for that you need to simply search for PowerShell on your PC and simply run this as an administrator. Once it opens up, you have to type in this command that is get hyphen mmagent. Simply press enter and you have to make sure that memory compression is set to false. If this is set to true, you can simply type in this command. You can find this on my description. This is disable mmagent hyphen mc. This will disable your memory compression. Now once again, if you want to re-enable it or you're facing any issues, you can simply change this disable to enable and that should do the job. Next step is creating a restore point and this is super beneficial. Simply search for create a restore point on your PC and over here click on system protection, select your local disk and then simply click on create. Over here, you can simply type in Genshin, just remember it and simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential if you want to restore every settings back to normal without any data loss. Now next step is the Genshin Impact FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply open this thing up and in here you'll find in four simple folders. The first one is CPU priority in which I have left Intel and AMD CPU priority. Now you need to find which CPU you're using and for that you can simply open up system information and then look for your processor that is AMD for me. Also take a note of your installed physical memory that is 32GB for me. 
Now I use an AMD CPU so I need to run the AMD CPU priority but you can also run the Intel priority as well. Next one is the RAM optimization in which I have to choose 32 GB RAM. You can also find that in system information as I told you guys and I have left a ton of presets over here to choose from according to your memory. Once again if you don't like the performance you can always reset them back to default. Third one is the Genshin Impact priority in which I have recently updated the new priorities for Genshin Impact. So you can simply apply the high priority or above normal priority according to your PC's performance and you can leave your computer specifications down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which one to choose from over here next is the windows optimizations in which i have left a ton of optimizations that can help you to actually fix most of your windows problems in which i recommend you guys to run all of them for better performance first one will disable unnecessary services background apps download maps and transparency it also helps you to increase your system's responsiveness and it reduces win32 priority separation that will help you to improve your PC's CPU performance. Once again, if you don't like it, you can always go back to revert registries and revert all of them back to normal. Now, next step is your boot configuration. And for that, you need to search for system configuration on your PC. And right over here, you have to go to boot settings, then go over to advanced options, click on number of processors and choose the maximum number of processor available for your PC. Then simply click on OK and apply. This will make sure to use all of your cores while booting up and it is also good for gaming in the long term. Last step is the best Genshin Impact settings. So for that you have to open up Genshin Impact and follow the video. Okay, now for the best settings, what you have to do is press your escape key and then go over to settings. In here you have to go to graphics and then set your graphic quality to custom display mode to 1920 by 1080 or your native full screen then your brightness you have to set it yourself then for the fps go with the maximum vsync off render resolution i highly recommend you guys to put this between 0.6 and 8 both of them would work fine but if you have a really powerful computer you can set it to 9 or 1. once it is done you have to set your shadow quality set this thing to lowest global illumination go for off visual effects you have to go for lowest sfx quality this matters the most you have to set this thing to lowest environment detail you can keep this thing to medium then you have anti-aliasing you have to keep it fsr2 volumetric fog this this is really really impacting on your FPS so set this thing to off. Reflections you can keep it off as well but putting it on will not affect your FPS that much. Then your motion blur go with low, bloom off, crowd density you can go with low, go up teammate effects on, subsurface scattering you can set this thing to medium and anisotropic filtering set this thing to 1x. Once that is done go down to audio settings and then over here put your volume up to the highest and your music volume a little bit low. Then you have your dynamic range, set this thing to full, output settings, go with stereo or you can also go with surround sound. Mute when minimized, turn this thing to on and you should be done with that. So guys that was it for the best settings for Genshin Impact. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.